Hello, my name is Madeline Herman. Last night, while traveling south on Interstate 69 through DeKalb County in northern Indiana, my husband Dave and I began experiencing some car troubles. Dave put the hazards on to alert other vehicles of our troubles, and we continued driving. About seven or eight minutes later, we noticed that we were being followed by some police officers. So Dave began looking for the first well-lit area he could find, which didn't happen to be for about three more miles south on Interstate 69. We pulled into a gas station, and Dave, not wanting armed strangers walking up behind the vehicle, especially with our infant son in tow, um, stepped out of the vehicle and asked if there was something he could help them with. Get on your knees and put your hands on your head. I've never met you. I don't know you. Can you please show Turn me around. your ID? Turn around. Can you please show Turn me your ID? Turn around or you get tased. Can you please show Turn me your ID? Turn around or you get tased. Can you please show me your ID? Blast the board. Who are you? We are the police. They immediately drew their weapons and began shouting at him, telling him to put his hands up and to turn around. He put his hands up and requested that they show him three forms of identification, which is required by law. Turn around, I need to see your ID. On you, by turn law, you're around. Put by your law, on your you're required to Down show me ID. This is bullshit. Get on your knees now. Uh, uh. Stop. On your knees. Turn around. On your Get stomach. On your stomach. <laughs> Is this really necessary? All I did was ask to see my feet. Seriously? This is very Put your hands up on the steering wheel. They then came up to the vehicle and saw that I was recording and were more than happy to show me some identification. Anybody else in here? Is there a child in there? Yes. Okay. Hey, um, you don't have a warrant. Huh? You don't have a warrant? I'm gonna have you step out. I two would like to see three forms of identification you are required to show us that three forms of identification yes just keep it i don't have three forms of id all i've got is a, my tag my badge and that's it okay you don't have a driver's license it's got my address on it. I'm not going to show it to you, okay? Do you understand? Do you understand that? I Why I'm not going to show you my driver's license? You are so required to. I'm not. You are required to show us three show forms you, of not, identification. Not, not to show you my driver's license. Not, not your driver's license, but three forms of I don't identification. Have three forms. We, don't have, we don't carry three forms. Right? I'm in the uniform. That anybody can have a uniform. Okay. You understand? Had you just initially complied with the issues? They then held my infant son and I hostage in our vehicle in temperatures in the low 30s with the windows down and the door open and would not allow us to close it to stay warm. There are at least cameras here, so if you shoot me, it's on record. If you shoot me here... Then How old's the child? Just, I can't see him. Just, just an infant. A couple months. I'd just okay. be dead and it'd be, oh, well, this guy's dead and we murdered him. Uh -huh. Too bad he was a black. Right, what's your relation to him? Wife? Girlfriend? Wife? wife? Okay. Ma'am, do you have an ID on you? Yes, I would like to see your ID as you well. You want to see my ID? See the badge right here. Okay, you are okay. still required to show me three forms of identification. You or yet? Yeah, um, I don't know if I got the return on that one or not. So after 13, you get a return on that 20. It's okay. Just don't leave it there. It's cold out here. After about 30 minutes, they said that we were free to go, and um, and we could have somebody come pick us up. They have 
um, not set bail for him or arraigned him. They are refusing to give any information except for through their Twitter account and their Facebook and um, have been defaming Dave with trumped up charges. They are charging him with um, felony ve vehicle resisting arrest because he wouldn't wouldn't stop in a non well lit video recorded area. Um, they are charging him with battery of an officer, which apparently they charge you with if a taser is used, even if you're not the one using it. Um, and they are charging him with um, endangering a dependent, which again he was going out of his way to make sure it was the safest circumstances for our son that we were being pulled over. I beg all of my fellow Liberty brothers and sisters to reach out to the DeKalb prosecutor's office and demand that he be released immediately, that the officers who assaulted him be charged, and that the people responsible for defaming his name be held accountable. You can reach them at area code 260-925-1646. And if anybody in the area is um, knows of or is practicing law and is liberty-minded, um, we would appreciate any counsel that you might have to offer. You can reach me at MadelineMHerman at gmail.com. I will. Um, there will be a link in the a link below. Thank you very much, and I apologize for my poor cameramanship. Should be with the lights up. Mm, I don't think it was. 